Hi guys, today I will be making a starter guide for Hearts of Iron 4 Hoi 4 for short and yeah let's get started Single player, new game and definitely pick a gathering storm and here you have uh, all of the countries that you can pick he and these are the major countries however these ones do not start off as major countries now me personally i would pick germany see germany um, but uh, if you really want to, you can uh, choose the USSR and deal with the paranoia, in other words, politics, which we don't like to deal with, or the United States, again, politics and the Great Depression, which makes your consumer goods, consumer goods factories very high, and we don't like that. So I really do I really do recommend picking the German Reich Germany. However, you can pick uh, somebody else like France, UK, Poland, Italy. I do not recommend picking Turkey as a day as you basically won't be able to recover as you don't know what to do. Also, don't pick Spain. And yeah, Germany. Here are the difficulties. I play on the regular. You can play on civilian because you're probably a new player. Custom game rules. Some, uh, just some things that you don't really care about. And yeah, let's get started. However, um. Before I get started, if you are a new player, you should keep uh, um, a historical AI focus focuses on and Iron Man off. Why? Because if you don't have historical AI focuses, um, then uh, things uh, I don't know really, but. You won't expect anything. It's literally when you say, it's literally when it says to not let them know your next move. So here you have the political power. Import that this is important. Stability. You should keep. Keep uh, this uh, on all time, all time high, because if you don't, well, you will get strikes, and we don't like that. Um, uh, war support. You should also keep this on high because unless you want to surrender really quickly while in a losing war. Um. Keep it on low, but if you don't want to surrender quickly, keep this high. Manpower. Probably one of the most important things in the game. Factories. You most important uh, factories, civilian and military factories. You don't really need a naval dockyards. So yeah. Fuel. You need this uh, for your planes, for your ships, for your airplanes, all from to make them work. Convoys. Not really a big deal, I don't think. So yeah, these are all the things. Uh, if you click on them, you will get a pop up. See now. What I recommend you do is um, put this on uh, speed 5 if you want things to not take uh, very long. 
um, so if you press Q you will get this uh, pop up this will pop up and you need political power as you can see political power for political advisors this also designers right with that make uh, things uh, research faster um a theorist you see um and uh, the chief of military chief of navy air force then the military then the military high command you have three, three slots for that and now limited conscript conscription law see um the higher the conscription law the more you will uh, probably have manpower but the worse your factory output the worse your construction speed training time will also be bigger um all of the things that are red we don't like however this will make you have more um manpower per uh, month as you only gain them per month so yeah trading law you now i will to start off with free trade as this makes your construction as you make buildings faster research faster your factories um do better but you do lose a significant amount and not a significant amount but still a amount of uh, resources so yeah q this is q this is w here you have research pro still one of the most important things if not the most important thing in the game <laughs> Here you have the research speed, and here you, here you have the slots, the research slots. And some countries start up with more research slots, and some uh, countries uh, start off with less research slots, like Poland, France, UK. USSR. However, I think uh, America also has uh, four research slots and they can get up to six. And Germany can only get up to five. Unless you go down this path and you click this because in the focus tree that is massive. Um, you have this, which gains you a research slot, and this path, this whole path, is obtained only by buying the DLC, right? So yeah, now research, we were here. Um, you click on one of the slots and the best thing you can probably start off with engineering and uh, see research definitely research this and if you see a date that means that uh, it here it says 1940 and in the date 1914 1940 the technology will not be ahead of time so do not do um, uh, atomic research from the start 
and definitely don't do experimental rockets from the start because that will take you 1551 days for atomic research i don't think you really want to wait that much here you have industry you have production go with this construction click here and here you don't really need it right now so you can pick whatever you want but i uh, would uh, i would pick uh, the i will not even try to read that i would research this because it gives you a nice buff to a lot of divisions however for the focus tree i would pick first off rhineland or the four-year plan now if you click e you have the polit you have the diplomacy tab you can also click on diplomacy on your country and on others too now you can uh, also click uh, m2 on a country to see diplomacy right and uh, here you can uh, see what uh, the country is doing or what other countries are doing to it france see france is guaranteeing the independence of Czechoslovakia, of Czechoslovakia, Romania and Yugoslavia. Great Britain ha is in the faction of uh, allies, as well it is the faction leader, plus these are all the faction members and these are the puppets i do not understand why canada doesn't start off as the dominion of canada as it should be but i guess uh, i i guess it just happens sometimes i don't know if you can hear but there are b birds uh, outside my window i hope uh, it uh, it's not irritating for you um but i do have a nest outside my window so this that will probably be all the way to till the end of the video but i don't know if you click R, you have uh, the trade section. Now, I don't know why Germany starts off trading with Sweden for tungsten. Always, uh, always click here because you don't need that. However, if you do want to trade, just click. On the country you want you want to trade here i would usually pick a british malaya because the dutch east indies require convoys and the more you want to buy the more convoys you need so british malaya for the win as a British Malaya has rubber here that can just that can just go through land and not through water. Now here 
you should always pick this as it makes everything way easier way faster and click send and uh, in a day that will be filling up your industry with rubber but it does take away one civilian factory for eight eight see eight rubber right so yeah click t and you have the construction tab <clears throat> for construction i would uh, pick uh, first civilian factories just mash them around right civilian factories and then mostly military factories what just happened there see military factories as you do need the military factories for the next tab the production tab and the, the production tab is under y but you also need dockyards of course for the boats right now first of all i do pick to just to do that to the planes and here you have the production tab right you can change the amount of military factories that work on something you can also click this and this for a better view of how many factories you want right you can it can also edit on how many factories you place but now i would keep this on the free on the 15 right and uh, I would pick to make this also go higher as well as this as the infantry equipment equipment support equipment and the artillery are probably one of the most uh, um, needed things in your army if you press if you press you you have the recruit and deploy now i am sorry if i make some mistakes while while talking um i don't know why i am making mistakes as normally i am good at english but for some reason now i just can't speak english so yeah um here you have recruit and deploy and uh, this is the army germany starts off with 30 divisions i do take these divisions into another commander now if you want to select um, a certain amount of uh, infantry you just click and then click and hold shift and now you can uh, take uh, the certain amount of infantry right and this is pretty useful you know why is this popping up i don't know um so yeah this is the army now i do always click here on the the the, the bigger guy the bigger the the more the more powerful commander let's say and you click here to assign and you have this now here you have the traits earned traits general traits field marshal traits so this is a field marshal field marshal these are terrain traits and here you have the officer corps role roles right this is here you have the preferred preferred tactic 
and now for this you do need uh, the field marshal or the commander to be level 5 right to pick uh, this thing so you can also click to assign this guy and click to assign this guy and you have a full army now you might be wondering what does this do well i am going to show it as this is <coughs> sorry um this is the training mode you can train uh, your units this is on uh, how you execute plans i normally do the aggressively right so now they both these both have the aggressively execute the plans right you have the flex you have the cohesion i don't really care about this because it's not really important naval invasion order for this you pick one of the ports you have right and you need a stronger navy than the um you need a stronger navy than the country you want to invade naval invade plus the the country's allies navy if it's in the area So yeah, um, naval invasions, normally you would want to invade Norway like that and the UK, but the UK has the strongest navy in the game, the strongest starting navy, as the second strongest um, uh, is, has, uh, America has it, right? and uh, the thing uh, i showed you here right i will i will talk about that later those are okay i will i'm at, i'm gonna just talk about it right now but only a bit this is the cheat panel um uh, you can uh, open it by clicking the um button next to one right the one button the it's uh, the button is left of the one button i don't really know how it is called so yeah you just press it and you have it here and you can just type uh, commands like pp this means political power and this will give you 1000 political power but don't abuse it please um like i do every time i play war support stability um man power um instant construction fuel and now you just type the amount of fuel you want um tag right and you pick the country you want to play as like england the which is the united kingdom france poland ussr america right and the list goes on now to know how uh, now for that to know you press t debug and now you have at the you have the debug screen and now uh, the at the top you can see province id and you see the id but also you you see fra 
and the French flag next to it. That is uh, the debug. Um, the debug uh, France for short, right? England, which is UK, Soviet, Poland, Germany. You get it, right? But yeah. Um, enough of that. You have production. Oh, logistics. Here you have the equip, the equipment type, status, the balance, and the stockpile. You can see that we are that. German that I am missing a lot of planes, right? But that is not important. Um, you have the fuel prioritization, not really big a big deal. Um, uh, just keep these all on medium uh, fuel priority unless you don't really want to use the navy low fuel or the air and the navy low fuel and uh, the high priority on the na on the army <clears throat> this is the stockpile right and th this is the officer corps um for this you need our for this you need army experience and uh, here also army experience however for these guys you need political power and command power these guys uh, show up also here right the military staff you can also pick uh, you also have the air and the navy you have the preferred tactic section right and that would be it oh wait i didn't finish talking about the army well i guess i i guess this was a part of the army just think about it you need that for the army to work and this and the officer corps makes the army stronger right so yeah um And naval invasion uh, order with floating harbor support. This is not important. This is also not important unless you want to capitulate France uh, as quickly as uh, the dawn of daylight. Um, here you have the front line. Just click and the drag right or you can just click m1 and do it and do the whole front line now unfortunately this also can serve for if your allies have a front with it with the country right so yeah um you have the offensive line and you have the country here and you basically just draw a offensive line with M2, right? So yeah, um, uh, the fallback line, the fallback line you mark in your owned and your occupied country states, right? You can fall the fallback line uh, works just like this right um you can use the front fallback line to call your troops wherever you want right and they will go there or you can the area defense um the area defense you click on a state that you own or occupy you can also do it on 
a state that you don't occupy or own and that's basically just a bug that gives you infinite planning right because they cannot go there and yeah this this is mostly used to protect uh, um your naval shore because if they get in there and you don't manage to close it you you will probably lose the game but it's really easy to manage a naval invasion and push them back to the water where they came from um the uk does it a lot so yeah um this is not important this is not important um the edit mode Ooh, you see um the edit mode right you have this and uh, you can change from where you want to do that or if you want it bigger or smaller you can do it this is the delete order right um if you want uh, if you are using the the higher command right the field marshal what is my voice doing <coughs> um uh, you can click the fallback line but oh no this is a ugly fall back this is a ugly front line because you have because this army will go here only and this army will only go here what most the um players do is have this and make a, fl a front line right but uh, don't uh, but you keep on holding and then you press and hold shift and now you don't have a ugly fallback line and these guys will spread out and these guys will spread out now these front lines are used to I usually like this front line more if I am using uh, only the infantry on this front line so it won't get uh, so I won't get a bad front line and but if you are using uh, some tanks right just get it out of the thing it's that easy it won't be there so you can just make a different front line for them and it's just that easy um here you have the game this is the road tension meter here you have the map modes right if you press and click shift and then q you have the events and decisions tab right it's not really you can't really do anything without political power so yeah you you want you need political power um you have the occupied territories um normally you want to set it to the horses as it has a better as it suppresses a better and you also want it set to local police force unless you are playing as a communist country then you want to play then you want to press um the liberated workers right only communist countries have it here or if you are democratic right what has happened 
if you are democratic, you want to use local autonomy or not. Um, I don't really know if it's good or not, but uh, if it makes uh, the resistance target bigger, how it's not really good, but the compliance also goes up. So the compliance, you see, makes the resistance go lower and so more compliance less resistance that is how it works but uh, if you're not a communist country or nor a democratic country you you just use local police force really that's all now in the diplomacy tab you have all all of these decisions here such as justify war goal you do need political power for it this will increase the road tension and it will also be a long way till you can actually do it right Till you actually can declare war unless you can just click type in no cb then you will have all of this enabled right and you can just declare war from the start and yeah that that's basically how it works and uh, oh yeah um, Rhineland was demilitarized, which means that I couldn't put uh, any troops in there, right? But if you're at war, then it won't be demilitarized, right? Now, then you have the four-year plan. I recommend you do. You go down here to Autarky and then here and here. Then you also want the research slot and then you go down the army innovations uh, all the way to, to times two. Now this focus is locked behind the amount of manpower in your army and the amount of infantry equipment uh, in the army. So you cannot uh, um, just cheese it anymore, right? Because it used to only be um, behind the manpower, but you can you could just skip uh, it and go to go straight to Anschluss, right? Now, I think is the thing is with, if you aren't Germany isn't a really strong country if it doesn't do Anschluss and uh, the fate of Czechoslovakia because for it to be already a strong country, I mean it is already a strong country, but for it to be a strong country, like strong, strong, that it, strong enough that it can compete with the USSR, you do need Austria and Czechia and a lot of more research, right? Now, you can play historically or non-historically with the commands, but it's really up to you. Hoi4 really is a sandbox if you really think about it, if you have Iron Man off. Because if you have Iron Man on, the cheat section won't be enabled and you can make achievements, right? Now, the easiest achievement you can do is um, a, a friend in need, I think, where you just leave the faction, uh, or leave the Comintern as Tuva and then rejoin the faction at Stanutuva. It's really easy. Now, the navy, 
as Germany, it's not really, it's not really um uh, needed as you you can just research uh, paratroopers and they do everything with air. Now about air, the air is uh, a really needed thing, right? With close air support and uh, air superiority, you can also damage the industry by strategic by strategic bombing, right? Um, so yeah, you can also damage the logistics uh, by attacking the trains with your planes. Um, so yeah. High for when you get into it and you have uh, experience with it, it's really not hard. Um, it is easy, but yeah, that would be the end of the starter guide. I hope you, I, I hope I didn't confuse uh, you, um, the viewer, but I bet I did sometimes. Um, but yeah, that would be the end for this video. I hope you enjoyed and. Uh, yeah, check out my uh, other video about Steel Titans. Bas it's basically War Thunder, but in Roblox, or World of Tanks in Roblox. But yeah, it it's really a cool game. There aren't any sweats. Um, check my video out and check out uh, the game, basically. Um, uh, and yeah, that would be the end for this video.